Hi y'all, my name is Yelk Feidu, and I'm here to present my film project for 15 Fundamentals of Programming at Carnegie Mellon University. Now, this for term project is called MathLab, which stands for Mathematics Laboratory, and basically as a graphic calculator. For example, if we give it a valid input here, such as x squared minus y squared, this will graph this function, which is a hyperbolic paraboloid, as we can see here, and we can press the arrow keys to uh, rotate left and rotate right, up or down to see the graph from different angles. Now we can also change the scaling of the axis here. For example, let's uh, zoom in here to a uh, much smaller view. And uh, we can see up close that this graph is basically just a Pringle chip. We can also uh, zoom out here or we can zoom in by pressing these buttons or we can press the home button to return the default view. And pressing this question mark will display a help screen in case the user ever gets lost. Now MathLab also supports uh, graphing and other uh, coordinate systems and also in two dimensions. For example, if we give it a single variable function here, which is cosine of x, it'll automatically graph it in two dimensions mode. Now MathLab also supports graphing in, uh, of differential equations. For example, let's uh, click on new field here and let's give it a first order ordinary differential equation, cosine of x times y, and uh, let's give it an initial condition, negative 1, 1. And when we uh, enter it, we can see what MATLAB is able to do. It'll graph your differential equation as a slope field, and it'll graph the solution to your initial value problem that you gave it. Um, and we can also come into calculator mode, and mat where MATLAB performs very basic calculations uh, that we see in most typical calculators. And we can also come into statistics mode, which uh, analyzes data. For example, let's uh, input some uh, random points here. Uh, and uh, we can come into linear regression and, and press linear regression to see these points plotted and the line of best fit, which connects them. And that's all I have for this presentation on MathLab. I hope that you guys uh, check out some of my other videos, which go more in depth into the features that MathLab supports. Thank you.